Colorado at Pizzeria Basta. Kelly Whitaker's amazing wood-fired restaurant. Hey, Kelly, what you doing? Um, just starting uh, starting off the day with a little morning yeah. espresso. Yeah. This is like your ritual, right? This is the ritual every day, you know? We just come in, start thinking about the menu, start thinking about the day. Well, tell me about this espresso thing, because this is like a kind of a traditional thing in restaurants it in Italy. It is traditional. Right? We're not falling short on a single item here, so when it comes to coffee, it's kind of like an obsession of mine, like pizza. Yeah. I, I wanted it to be something special, something unique that we can bring to our restaurant that, you know, say at the end of this this meal, it's just the finishing touch. Mm -hmm. And it's also, like now, the beginning for me. While this is dripping through, we, we got to work together this weekend at the yeah. Fire Within yeah. Conference, which Fantastic. is kind of cool, a whole wood fire yeah. cooking event with people from all over the country who have yeah. mobile wood-fired ovens. You do all your cooking wood fire here. Yeah, we have a single induction burner here that we use to make cheese, but besides that, it's all about the wood fire at our place. Pretty much all of our food touches the fire in some sort of way. But you're making your own cheese here too? Uh, yeah, we, we hand stretch cool. some mozzarella. We buy good domestic curd, you know, so we're not yeah. just making it from the very beginning. As far as the other food, we try to do everything we can here. You know, we make the sausages. We, uh, we cure the pork bellies to make the pancetta. And so, and, and all of that's coming from the, again, those good local domestic sources for, yeah. for pork. And um, yeah, it, it, I, I think it shows through in, in everything that we do. We won't put anything on the menu that we don't stand behind 100%. And that could be a piece of salami, like I said, it could be a salad, it can be an espresso, it can be a single beer. Yeah. I have four draft beers here and they're all thought out. You know, we have this beverage program that's all centered again then the first rule comes back to the food, it comes back to the wood fire. How does this beer or this wine relate to the wood fire? And then that, after that we say, oh, can we, can we source this domestically is our second thing for our beverage program, right. you know? And then, um, you know, and then beyond that we just choose some things that we like, but it, it, it really is back to that beginning idea of, of, of just everything that you do, do it great. Don't fall short on one single thing. Right. Every part of the menu, every, ingredient, every uh, concept that they're working with is well thought out and comes from some kind of a vision. And I want to sit down with Kelly and find out what that vision is. 